Next up on Unity Live at GDC, Jessica Lindell is here to talk Unity education. Hello, and welcome back to Unity Live at GDC. Uh, Will and I are joined by Jessica, who is the Global Head of Education here at Unity. So thank you so much for joining us, Jessica. Yeah, just thank you for having me. Awesome to have you here. <laughs> so please, uh, tell us about Unity education and training and uh, what you guys and girls do. Absolutely. So our whole purpose is to enable all of our creators and their success, mm -hmm. whether it's just an aspiration to be creating what you've always imagined or a professional career, or you're just starting out trying to learn programming or computer skills. And so what resources are available for those learners at all those different stages to get started? So we're so lucky at Unity because it's all driven by a learner's motivation and passion for what they want to create. Dissimilar to other companies where you could become a Salesforce admin, we use that motivation to fuel you throughout your entire lifetime journey. So the resources can be anything from free tutorials that we have, projects where you can build an incredibly high quality game with us um, as you're starting to learn out, learn all the way to advanced courses, certifications, in-person training, workshops, we've got you covered. <laughs> cool, so there might be, you know, there's, there's probably quite a lot of people who are watching this who are really, really at that kind of beginner level who are just getting started with Unity. What is the first thing that they should try and do? So, Will, you've had a lot of experience in yes. this. Over <laughs> and I'm prompting you to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> over the last few years, we're picking up an incredible foundation you've laid for us. So thank Thanks. you so much for no that. No worries. <laughs> um, so some of the great things that you've already created, uh, in editor tutorials, you open up Unity and you are handheld all the way through your beginner experience. Um, as well as 2D projects. We're coming out with a 3D project that you can be creating. Oh, the game kits. The game yeah. kits, yes. exactly. Those Beautiful. are phenomenal. Um, and again, all the way to courses that aren't just about game design and game development, but actually moving into automotive and the other verticals that we're going after. Cool. So am I right in thinking that if you are someone who's a programmer or an artist or an animator, there are kind of paths that you could, or pieces of content that are more appropriate for you on the site? Um, That's right. So we've got tracks uh, based on what your role is. We also have tracks if you just want to tinker. Um, yeah. You're just casually browsing around and you want help. Um, and again, not just for beginners, also advanced levels, not just for gaming, for other verticals too. Cool. And what about those people who, who are already started but want, are feeling like, oh, I can prototype some stuff, but you know, I kind of want to actually get into architecting, making my game more of a kind of a hardcore thing, and they want to have like a structured training course. What do we offer in that regard? So our model has been that there are amazing courses that have already existed globally from lots of different providers like mm -hmm. Udacity and Udemy and Coursera and Pluralsight. Pluralsight yeah, so we've partnered with the best courseware providers, learning providers globally, uh, also localized in key languages. So you can get on that learning journey. Our approach is how to embrace and enable the learning ecosystem, not just about Unity creating those experiences, but really bringing every, all of the great teachers out there into our ecosystem. Cool, is there any like, specific course you want to call out, you want to talk about? Or? So we love the game dev course, okay. uh, which is right on Unity, the Unity game dev course. We've partnered with Pluralsight on that. Okay. You start off just learning the fundamentals of Unity and gaming and game design. You move into art. And then we've got future courses coming out around monetization and how to really enable your own success and the success of your company if you have one. And so that one, I think that one includes like Maya and, and some other packages as well in that kind of ecosystem. So you're not just learning just to code or something, for example. That's right, exactly. Integrating cool. assets and importing assets and Sweet. everything you'd need to do to create a knockout game. So, I mean, that's, that's something that's out now. Like, what, what are we doing for education like the next like, year, two years? What kind of stuff should people expect to see rolling out? So we have a ton coming out. We've basically moved from one or two courses, one certification, to we'll have over 20 courses by the end of this year. We'll have tons of free tutorials, free projects that you can also get your hands on, going from one to six certifications. So if you really want to show and demonstrate your success to the community, we've got expert certifications for programming and for artists. And then the most important part for us is that this is all embracing the community. So if you've got your profile on Connect, and mm -hmm. you can put up everything you've created on Connect. You can get feedback from the community. Hmm. Our learning approach is really project-based and peer-supported. Yep. So we want to make sure that 
you're getting immediate feedback to improve and to keep you motivated along the way. So yeah, that's, sorry. Oh, sorry, no, carry on. Oh, I was just going to say, like, I think that, you know, I hear from a lot of, um, especially young people all the time who are asking about, oh, what do I do to start learning Unity? And I think that one of the things that I try and encourage them is, A, just make something yeah. and then make the next thing and then make the next thing. Um, but one of the other things that you brought up there is this, this idea of like peer review. And I think like being open to feedback and, and having a, a platform in, in Connect and our forums and all these other places is really useful. And I think that that's something that, you know, if, if any of you out there are, are watching who are, who are learning Unity, then, you know, do join the community and mm -hmm. feel free to post those things and your questions. Don't feel afraid to ask any questions, I would say. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to really highlight that whole peer review yeah, thing, because I think that's really important. Liz. Yeah, I wanted to ask more about the certifications, because we, so you, you briefly mentioned them, but um, so like, what are they, uh, what do they mean to the developers and where can the, they find out more about them? Sure, so this year, uh, we've got a few certifications in the market already, but in the next few months, we'll have six total. So if you're just starting out high school, vocational ed programs, we've got a certification that marks that you've understood how to use Unity. As you grow into your career and you begin your professional career, we've got two professional certifications, a developer and an artist. Mm -hmm. And after you've spent about four or five years in your career and you really want to demonstrate your success, we have three expert certifications two technical artist certifications and one programmer certification. Okay, so, so kind of as a path, you've kind of got um, all the free resources, you've then got the plural site game dev course, and you know, as, as someone who's kind of like breaking in, um, doing a bunch of prototypes and things like that, you can kind of then level your way up through those certifications and then sort of display to industry, you know, put it on your LinkedIn or wherever you advertise yourself. You can, you know, kind of um, signpost you know, where you've got to. That's right, cool. exactly. Awesome. And then don't forget about XR, so we've got an amazing course in the market already with Udacity. Oh, yeah. Cool. And we've got a great set of courses coming out with Coursera for both VR and AR okay, integrated nice. into the course. Cool. Mm -hmm. And so what about maybe like studios who um, are onboarding or they've just had a lot of new staff? Do we offer any training for... Like in-house? Yeah, of like in-house yeah. kind of. Yeah, so we've got in-house training mm -hmm. on about 20 different topics as well as <laughs> custom training Twenty that topics. we can provide. Okay. Yep, <laughs> as we, I mean, amazing. you guys know we have an amazing roadmap that yeah, we just, just heard about. Yeah, we're just pretending we don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is working so well. This is education. <laughs> we just heard about our incredible roadmap in our keynote. So all of that is being covered in in-person training. Yep. Um, if you can't make it in person or don't want somebody to come out to your site, we also provide live virtual training. Training, oh, really? Um, okay. That you can go ahead and I take. I genuinely didn't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Every day's a school day. Yeah. Yep, that's kicking off in April. <laughs> that's fantastic. Cool. Awesome. That's okay. brilliant. Well, so, I mean, if, if people are watching, they want to mm. kickstart this whole thing, unity3d.com slash learn. That that's right, unity3d.com slash learn. Awesome. It's all there for you. Cool. And uh, your team are around for those of, uh, those of us who are here at GDC, if you're, they're here today. Yep. They want to come down and have a chat. Exactly. So we've got lots of different sessions where you can just see what it's like to have live training in person, um, as well as different opportunities for you guys to experience courses and see the certifications. Cool. And I think we'll probably be recording a lot of those as well. So for people who missed it, they'll be able to watch it after the fact. Yeah. Great. So Sounds the good. taster workshops for the training are going to be at Unity Central. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then, as you said, so we're going to be live streaming them to mm -hmm. the lounge and Unity Mix. Yes. So yeah. Got so you've back. got no excuse. No, you've got no excuse. We're everywhere for you. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, always Thank great you guys to see you so much. Thanks it's been for awesome to have you. Okay. Talk thank soon. you.